the MR Open has now been uh, in situ operating for about six months um, and we're generally absolutely delighted with it. It has some significant advantages both to the patient and also to the uh, referring clinician. The MR Open has allowed us to offer a, um, a new service uh, to a much broader uh, spectrum of patients. Patients with disabilities, people that were unable to lie completely supine, um, the claustrophobic patients, disabled patients that are absolutely unable to undergo um, the typical high field magnet scans without general anesthesia and here we're able to accommodate them comfortably. The largest open system closest to us was unable to uh, manage a very large patient which we were able to accommodate here. I think the patient acceptability is enormous an enormous advantage. We've not yet had anybody who's not been able to have a uh, scan on the MR open, whereas many of them have previously attempted scans on a closed machine and not been able to undergo it. We make uh, the experience here as non-clinical as possible. It's relaxed, it's comfortable, um, and, and that's important to us as an imaging centre. We often have to take care of international patients coming from, well, all over the world. And they often comment that this is the best experience they've ever had with an MRI machine because we can accommodate their needs. Instead of asking them to do something that makes them incredibly uncomfortable, we are allowed to make them comfortable. I'm slightly claustrophobic myself and there's no way I could have a closed bore scanner and particularly of my head. Um, I've had many ones on the MO open. You know, I generally fall asleep in it. It's nice and relaxing. As you'll understand, Harley Street is one of the most competitive marketplaces in the world, I would say. Uh, there are other uh, magnets who claim to be open in the area but nothing is as open as the uh, as the paramed um, which enabled us to broaden the scope of our activities broaden the marketplace and allowed us to appeal to a much wider group of um, physicians and consultants in and around the Harley Street area a regular flow of patients from overseas who are coming for some specific uh, imaging that we can undertake uh, not available in their in their own home country. By the introduction of the MR open they are beginning to realize that our um, MR imaging, diagnostic imaging, is also in a different league to other closed bore um, scanners. Gravity is a contrast agent for me. So we always start with a conventional lying down study, so we have a baseline. Then we will put the patient either into an upright position or a position of pain to try to gain more understanding of what is causing the, the problem. Uh, a patient was referred for an understanding of why they had pain when they walked. The doctor was questioning whether they had a stenosis, a narrowing in their spinal canal. Until we added gravity, add our, our unique contrast, that we were able to see that at one level the facet joints had actually produced a swelling into the spinal canal that caused almost a complete stenosis. So it was the actual addition of gravity that brought on the changes. If we'd only reported off the supine MRI study, we would never have diagnosed a stenosis. It was only when we stood the patient up. And we are seeing between about 30% of cases that very significant pathology is revealed on the upright scan that was not present um, on the supine and in a number of cases that has fundamentally changed the clinical management um, of the patient. Then that is what is going to be the game changer um, in, in radiology, particularly in MSK radiology going forward. One of the other areas of interest that we have that we can do with the paramed system is to put patients into particular positions that are just not possible on other magnets. In particular we've had some success looking at uh, very extreme ranges of flexion in the knee 
uh, to evaluate in particular anterior knee problems and to gain an understanding of anterior knee dynamics, which when you put a patient into deep flexion really does look quite different to what you would normally expect. We've been looking at cervical spine and in particular at the junction between the spine and the skull in terms of instability patterns that might result from injuries such as whiplash, putting patients into positions where they experience their symptoms so we can analyze the alignment of the cervical spine and, and discover whether there's any uh, in, impingement on the cord or on nerve roots occurring in those positions. It sounds obvious, but it is better if you can scan someone in a position of maximum symptoms where you reveal pathology than in a position of maximum pain relief. The design and the capabilities of the magnet enable us to look after patients who cannot be imaged in other centres. Technology such as the high temperature superconducting wire uh, has a very important impact on the final patient experience because here we have a magnet now that has the widest gap of any machine at 55 centimetres, nothing over the top of them at all. Because of the use of the technology of the wire we're able to keep the weight to a, an acceptable level which allows the machine to be small enough to be non-intimidating when you approach it. We select technology that not only gives us the best answers but also looks after the patients in the most uh, professional way. One of the great and perhaps the exciting uh, aims utilising MR Open is the ability to undertake some really fundamental clinical research. The possibilities keep unfolding for us. Um, every day we discover something new that we can do. And we want to now be able to image, again provide high quality diagnostic imaging of patients who have suffered whiplash um, in various upright positions. Evaluating what happens to patients who develop pain after exercise and we've been using a standing study of the calf muscle for patients who develop calf pain or shin splints when they exercise we send them out for a run uh, bring them back and rescan them in the standing position so we're able to look at both signal change and cross-sectional area change in muscles within the calf in the pre and post exercise mode